Kirk Franklin rebuked twice by a street preacher for what he did at the BET Awards. And that's what we're going to discuss in today's video. So, for those of you who haven't been made aware of what actually happened, it was a few days ago. Um, just before one of Kirk Franklin's con concerts in Miami, he was basically on his way to basically get into his concert where he was made aware of a street preacher named Ty who was on the corner street preaching, basically telling people to repent, etc. And basically what Kurt Franklin decided to do at that time was basically cross the street and basically confront the street preacher as the street preacher was openly rebuking him. Now, all of the links are going to be in the description box for these videos and all these different kind of things for you to find out even more after this video. But what basically happened is Kirk started defending himself. The guy was rebuking him, saying Kirk had blood on his hands and how he had basically sold his soul and how he had sold his soul and basically gone over to the world. And I'm really interested to see your thoughts and thinking what you think about it, because loads of people are taking different standpoints and what we want to focus on always here on this channel is what does the bible say etc so some people are obviously going to be looking at it and saying kirk franklin is obviously sold out and has forsaken the gospel other people are going to say no kirk franklin has been doing great work and this street preacher is totally out of line for what he was actually doing there's going to be loads of different thoughts and thinking on it i'm interested to get your op opinion so let me know in the comment section below so you can see here these are some of the responses you can see this is john gray's response to this whole situation the law shame judgment preachers who attack believers before conversing with them they all are calling cards of religious system designed to shame a person into submission to other people's version of God. The living God manifested himself through Christ Jesus who dealt with his disciples who wanted to judge and kill. And he quotes a scripture from Luke 9 where the two disciples, also known as the sons of thunder, basically wanted to destroy a city with fire and Jesus rebuked them and said, no, that's not what we're here to do. And he goes on basically talking about how him and Kirk Franklin's are friends and how he wants to defend him. That was John Gray. You can see that another preacher here, Hart Ramsey, basically talked about how he would basically have cussed him. And this is hypocrisy and it stinks. And he, this guy's basically stuck in the Old Testament, Moses and the Prophets, and has never heard of or met Jesus. And he, and he basically goes on, basically. And you can see here, this is Dietrich Haddon. He posted this on Facebook, basically talking about how He's preached on street corners and he's preached the gospel and all these different kind of things. And he's basically saying he would never disrespect anyone like this. And this is basically full of assumptions and negativity. This is all basically spewed out of hate, as you can see here, and not love. So these are some of the different thoughts. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section below. One thing I will say is I'm going to refer to John the Baptist and think about what John the Baptist was doing. He was basically going to the Jordan, preaching his message, and loads of people were coming unto him. And what was he saying? He was basically saying, look, you're sinners, repent, the Lord's coming back, etc. The Pharisees came, and what did he do? He rebuked them. So if this street preacher, Ty, considers himself and says, you know what, I'm being sent out to preach a message the same way John the Baptist was preaching a message, and he potentially sees people like Kirk Franklin and some of these other popular people in the Christian community as like Pharisees and, and false, then he can look at it and say, well, these people are false. I have to go and rebuke them. This is the message God's given me to go and preach to them. So John the Baptist is a prime example. It, you can't always just focus and look at scriptures from one way. And just before we move on from the whole John the Baptist theme, remember, just like the Pharisees and those religious authorities came to John the Baptist and he rebuked them that way, remember as well that Kirk Franklin went out of his way to come over to the street preacher and that was when the street preacher continued to rebuke him and got obviously a bit more personally as he spoke to him directly face to face and said he was sold out um, and he had blood on his hands and he'd sold his soul to the devil. So I know we've talked about some of the popular people like Dietrich Cadden and John Gray basically rebuking the street preacher for going about the way he went about it. But let's take a look at some of the scriptures and see if there's anything in the scripture that is sort of similar to these kind of things. So I know one of the big objections people are going to say to this is, should this have been public? Well, one thing that dropped in my spirit that I kind of felt kind of reminded me of this was taken from the book of First Kings, chapter 13. And this is basically where the King Jeroboam had actually been um, from the moment he started his kingdom, had actually started to turn the Israelites away from God, basically. And he actually reared up these false altars. And what he basically did is he was basically um, raising up 
false priests to basically take part in these false offerings, etc. And it got to a point in time where God basically sent a man of God, the scripture says, to basically prophesy openly, publicly um, against the altar. So if you are looking at this event and you're saying, well, this guy was completely wrong, he should never have done this in a public setting, think about the scripture we just discussed and also at the same time just think about it from a different perspective let's say for example the street preacher Ty was actually right well maybe it's got to a point where Kirk Franklin has just done so many different things he's not listened to so many different people that God says okay you know I'm gonna send this guy to rebuke him openly so what do you think I'm really interested in what you think about this situation as well now the second thing which is really powerful in this whole scenario is that Kirk went to actually defend himself Okay, because Kirk was actually going to, to, I guess, his concert and he went out of his way to cross the road and address him, etc. Now, one thing that came to my mind, in a scripture example that came to my mind was from 2 Samuel chapter 16. This is where David's on the run, basically, King David, um, because one of his sons is trying to basically take over the kingdom. And there's a guy there, basically, that's cur basically cursing David and all the people that are with him and actually throwing stones at him. Now, the men around David basically say to David, why should this guy be talking like this? Let's go and basically take him out. And what David basically says is, leave the guy alone. Basically, if perhaps God is basically encouraging this guy to ridicule me and um, assault me and attack me, um, perhaps God might even bring a blessing for me because of the scenario that I'm in. So in that particular scenario, David didn't in fact defend himself. He basically allowed God to basically handle the situation. Think about this as well. No matter whether you believe Kirk Franklin um, was wrong in this matter or you think Kirk Franklin isn't portraying or portraying the gospel um, accurately, you have to respect Kirk Franklin for going to him and actually having a conversation with him and being willing to actually meet up the second time where after that aftermath, the guy tired, the street preacher tired, basically went on to make another video rebuking him and his um, pastor, Tony Evans, again. Also remember that Jesus publicly rebuked the religious leaders openly many times in the Gospels. And it didn't necessarily start like that, but it got to a certain point where a lot of the stuff was public and they would come to him or he would come to them and he would openly rebuke them calling them snakes and calling them whitewashed tombs and all these different kind of things so openly rebuking someone isn't necessarily the wrong thing to do the scripture in the new testament does give us insights other than what jesus did um from day to day where it was about going to elders and going to these people um in ones or in twos and threes etc before literally writing that person off so Depending on how the situation unfolds, I don't want you to be going into situations like this just literally casting reckless judgment straight away. Think about the whole scenario first. Think about scriptural examples first, because that's what we're focused on here on this channel. Really looking at what the scripture says and not necessarily what other people are doing. So what we do here on this channel is we open up the Bible and help you enhance your Bible knowledge. That's through Bible studies, Bible tools, FAQs and live streams. And if you like what you've seen today, then I'm going to recommend you watch this video right here next. It's a great video for you to watch based on some of the things we've covered in today's video. Thanks and take care.